what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join up the family if you feel like you want to but you don't have to and if you're a returning subscriber hey how are you guys how are you guys doing how is your monday is anybody having the case of the mondays because i sure am so i woke up this morning coughing feeling gross so I texted my boss that I'm going to take a sick day. And she was like, cool, see you tomorrow. Anyway, so I took some meds because I felt feverish. Just coughing the whole nine yards. And laid down and was starting to fall asleep. And then I heard my doorbell ring. And my lovely mailman brought me my color pop order. I was so excited to open this because I bought one of the new collections and I bought some old stuff and then I bought another mystery box and when I opened it I realized it was literally the same exact box that I had already unboxed. So I'm trying to decide if I want to mail it back to them or give it away but whatever. So we will unbox with you guys the regular box stuff that I bought. So first up, this is the new collection. They released the Heavy Petal Collection. This is so cute. <coughs> I love how it's got like kind of messed up, distorted flowers on the front. I saw that somebody talk about this the day before it was released, and I was like, I want it. And now that it's here, I am in love. Oh my god, you guys. This palette is perfect for spring. Look at these shades. This shade is so pretty. It's pulling silver, but it's more of a lavender. Ugh. I have a shade called pollen right here that's funny so i'll show you guys the names full sun pollen floral fields hyacinth peony daisy but it's d-a-z-e-y garden variety so spring oh so sprung potting mix Feeling Grounded, Thrive, and Freshly Cut. I needed a spring palette because I really don't have any. And I love ColourPop's palettes. Their palettes are some of the best. I fell in love with this palette. Because it is a neutral palette, but it does have some fun pops of colors. Like that Hyacinth color is so stinking pretty i cannot get over it so in this collection they did have four blushes the palette lipsticks and i think a gloss so i ended up buying the palette obviously and i did buy two of the blushes so the first blush I bought is Dream Garden, and this is such a pretty color. Look at this, you guys. It's definitely brighter pink than I thought it was online. Online it looked more of a softer pink, but this kind of looks Barbie pink. I don't think it's showing it off on camera, but it is definitely Barbie pink. Not as bright as Barbie, but... Kind of a muted Barbie pink, if that makes sense. And then Spring Flush. This looked peach online, and it is a little peachy, but it's more of a, like a peachy nude. Super pretty. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at describing colors. Then, shocking enough, I have never tried any of the ColourPop concealers. I have been wanting to try it. I just don't know why I've never bought it. 
but I did pick it up. I picked up the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer because I've heard everybody talk about this one. And I am super excited to have it. I picked it up in the shade 15W. We'll do a little swatch of it. Ooh, that's a little light. But they were sold out of 20, light 20 and light 30. So I had to go with fair 15, but I'll make it work. Aren't you supposed to have lighter under eyes anyway? Why are you? Okay. But yeah. So, excited to have that. Up next is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. I've been wanting to try a mascara from ColourPop. Because again, I don't really hear a lot of people talk about their makeup. I mean, I hear people talk about their foundation... They're Super Shock Shadows, they're Super Shock Blushes, but I really don't hear much about their mascara. So I picked it up in the shade Black on Black. It's really cute. It says Lashes Check. And it's just your standard wand. I mean, it's an hourglass shape, which I kind of like. So I'll be excited to try that out. Then I bought a pretty, the Pretty Flawless Hydrate Set set. So I picked up the Pretty Fresh uh, Hy Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Just looks like this. And I'm super excited because now I have both setting sprays to try out. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading haul from yesterday or when I went to Target but I did buy and then it came with a blending sponge just really soft excited to have that and then I picked up the pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic acid primer this primer is just your standard primer I've been wanting to try it because I do have the hydrating foundation I have the Pretty Fresh Foundation and Tinted Moisturizer. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. But I'm glad to have that. And I do have the No Filter Primer as well as the No Filter Setting Spray from them. I did pick up the No Filter Setting Powder. This is the Loose Powder in Translucent. Again, I've been wanting to try this out because, again, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this. So, yeah, I'm super excited to play with my new goodies. I may contact ColourPop and see if I can return this mystery box because it is literally the same as my other one. But, yeah. But, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to hop off here because my meds are starting to kick in and I am getting very tired. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!